So there's a few YouTube videos out, and they make sense, but I have to be honest with you, I don't know. This disease that's going around, I'm going to start calling it the sun disease because YouTube has algorithms where they can listen to your video, the computer can listen to your video, and ban your video based on what it hears, what the computer hears. So I'm going to call it the sun disease. The sun disease. Everybody I know, and I know lots of people, they don't know anybody that has the sun disease. And when I ask them, well, do the people that you know know of anybody that has the sun disease? They say no. Now, granted, everybody's telling me, well, I got over the flu about a, a month ago. And the same thing. I got over the flu about a month ago. I was off of work for one or two days. And I know me, 50-something yeah. years on this planet, after I get over the flu, since the day I can remember, for about three weeks after I get over a cold or a flu, I have a cough. It's the way I am. But nobody that I know, and nobody that the folks that I know who know somebody, and in their inner circles, nobody knows anybody that has the sun disease. Yet the news is telling us that everybody has it. The hospitals are overwhelmed. It's apocalyptic. The scenes at all these hospitals. And they were naming these hospitals. And people were going down and recording at these hospitals, YouTube channels. Guess what? These hospitals were dead as a doornail. Nobody going in for any kind of illnesses. Emergency tents set up front that are vacant. Honest to God, now when they post a news article, they stop naming the hospitals because they don't want anybody going down and filming them. I'm not saying that this sun degree uh, disease is fake. I'm telling you what I saw on other YouTube channels. And some of them are saying that they are trying to frighten everybody to stay in their home. They say there is a sun disease. I want to clarify it. They say, these YouTube channels are saying there is a sun disease, but it's not, it is not to the expanse that the news media outlets are, are telling us. The sun disease came out and then our government decided to utilize it for its plan. Want to know what that plan is? From what I'm hearing from other YouTube channels, it's to go after the corrupt elite. They want us in our homes. They want us off the streets because they're afraid of false flag operations against us. You know, the false flag operations where a group of people get bombed or somebody walks into a nightclub and shoots up the place. They want us off the streets, and they say the go date is approximately April 6th. Approximately April 6th, where they're going to start arresting much of the elite. And the elite are in panic mode, according to these YouTube channels. And again, you start watching their videos, and you start watching the videos of the hospitals that the news claimed was just overbeared with patients. The hospitals freaking are dead. So I don't know what to think. I come to a conclusion that I know nobody with this illness. The people I know don't know anybody with this illness. The news is telling us that everybody has it, stay at home, all the hospitals are overwhelmed. Don't go, you know, don't go there unless it's an emergency. YouTube channels are going out there and filming these hospitals. And these hospitals turn up to be 
quite the opposite. Very quiet. No ambulances going in and out. No patients. No nothing. What are, what are, what are you to think? Now the now when you see a news article, they're no longer naming hospitals because they don't want people going and filming. What are, what are you to think? Just curious. Wouldn't it be wonderful if our government was going after the corrupt elite, the cabal, the evil in this world that has put us all in slavery? I coined, I coined that statement, I coined that phrase, slavery never ended. It was perfected. Aren't we all slaves? Don't we all go to work, shell out close to 50%, if not more, of our work in the form of taxes by the time you pay your federal, your state, and then every transaction after you get your paycheck is taxed? Everything from what you want to do to your house to, to, to a permission slip to go fishing. Permit. That means permission. It's short for permission. Every little transaction. There's been some news channels that have calculated we actually pay close to 70% after you calculate every transaction after we receive our paycheck. It's close to 70% into taxes, everything from gas to sales and everything. So that means we're working for 30% pay. Does that seem right? Again, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I don't believe everything I hear. But when you see these videos, they are very compelling. And they're reporting stuff from this uh, news agency, this underground news agency called Q, QAnon. They're claiming Q QAnon has been dead on. I don't know, folks. I don't know, but wouldn't that be... Wouldn't that be weird if they're just using this sun disease as a cover to keep us out of the way, to keep us safe from another World Trade Center terrorist action. Keep us safe from another school shooting. Keep us safe from another movie theater massacre. Keep us safe from God knows whatever, wherever people get together. Churches and whatnot. Just saying. What if?